Jinder Singh. I am the media spokesman for Sikh Coordination Committee East Coast, which is an umbrella organization of U.S. more than 150 U.S. Gurdwaras. It's been in existence since 2015. Today we are here for a very historic event. Today, for the first time ever in the history of U.S. Congress, the House session started with a Sikh prayer. Jani Jiswinder Singh, who's standing on my left, he is the head priest of Sikh Gurdwara Pine Hill in New Jersey. He is the one who offered the prayer. Though the Sikhs have been here in this country for more than 100 years, it took us that long to get this prayer event. So this is a very, very happy occasion for the Sikh community, for the whole global Sikh community. And I want to congratulate all the Sikhs and all the congressmen and the congressional staff, especially Donald Norcross, who's my congressman from South Jersey, to make it happen. The other congressman from U.S. Congressional Sikh Caucus, uh, Brendan Boyle, uh, Valadeo from California, and Mary Gay Scanlon from Delaware County, and many other congressmen. Jim Costa, he's also part of Sikh Caucus. They all <coughs> supported and helped us to make this happen. So we are very thankful to all of these people. Tell me something about the prayer, what the prayer was. Uh, the prayer was to tell that universality of all the human race. Like the our priest said that first thing it started with one Ekamkar Sadgur Prashad, which is one universal creator God. Okay. And then we also prayed for the members of this Congress okay, who are working for the protection of the free world and, and all the Americans over here. And also it ended with Nanak Naam Chirdi Kala Tere Pane Sarbat Da Pala In the name of Nanak, we wish and pray for the whole humanity as one race. So this was the message which was given. And so that's really the universal message of Sikhism. Thank you.